Hello, Shay Lewis here. So, thank you guys for all the feedback and all the support and all the love. I truly appreciate it. I am going to do a tutorial on billionaire eyebrows. This tutorial starts now. I know you guys have seen the tapered unibrow look that no one likes. So this is also a pep talk. Stop. 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 Let it go. It is going to be 2020. We have evolved. And I don't know if nobody told you, but I am going to be your friend today and tell you. I am going to show you guys how to do brows with using um, just a regular eyebrow pencil. Look at that from CoverGirl. Benefits my precisely brow pencil. And also. Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. All right, so first we're gonna start with the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. This is actually my favorite brow pencil, my favorite way of actually doing my brows. I wear a 3.5. First, I start with outlining my brows. I start with the top first and outline them exactly how I like them. I like a good arch, but nothing that's too drastic. After that, I work on the bottom portion of my eyebrows and outline them. After that, I fill them in. The very front portion of your eyebrows, I fill them in really light. And then as I get further along my eyebrows, I go a little bit darker. Now that my brows are starting to look just like I like them, I used a little built-in eyebrow brush. It helps me get my eyebrows in place and keep them in place. As you can see, I always brush my eyebrows upward. All right, so after all that, I use a concealer. I use NARS Medium Slash Dark walnut concealer. I use this right above my eyebrow and just below it just so it can give it more of an edgy sharp eyebrow look. I don't put it too close to my eyebrow on the top because I don't want it to actually get on my eyebrow. For the top I do use my blending sponge but um, just so I can get all the creases on the bottom I like to use my eyebrow brush. By the way, I get all of my brushes from BH Cosmetics. Here we have ELF's Brow Gel. This is actually my favorite brow gel. I use the color Neutral Brown. Just to add to that sharp eyebrow look that I'm going for, I use a highlighter right under my eyebrow and I use the color Sunkissed. Yeah, so this is my everyday brow look. Now we're going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I rock the color dark brown. This is also a really good look. I love this product. Um, this is actually going to be my sleigh look. You'll see. The only thing different we're going to do is use the Dip Brow Pomade. Other than that, we're still going to use the same concealer, same eyebrow gel, and do the exact same thing with the blending that we did for the first look. So just like the pencil, we're going to be extremely light on filling in. We want to be extremely careful and light on the, the front of your eyebrow. 
because this actually comes on a lot heavier than the pencil so the further you get down your eyebrow you can go a little bit darker but you still want to put it on as light as you can So I actually bought the brow kit when I bought the dip brow pomade. I really like the brow brush that came with it. So it also came with a brow gel and it's too dark for me. Now the look I'm going for, I think my brow is already dark enough and I don't want to add any more color to it. So I'm just going to go back and use my e.l.f. brow gel in neutral brown. They both look really good, but this is my favorite. Look at that, that's perfect. Now we're gonna use CoverGirl's Easy Breezy Brow Fill and Define Pencil Crayon. I'm using the color Rich Brown, and as I start doing my brows, you can actually see that this color is starting off to be a little too light, but the more I do my brows, you'll see that it actually comes out to be perfect. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I bought this from CVS for only $4, and it came in a two-pack with the pencil sharpener. So this is a really good product and actually I would recommend this for anybody who don't really want to spend too much on a brow pencil. I'm also going to use the same concealer as well as blend the top portion and the bottom portion of my eyebrow to make that sharp look. And we're basically going to do the same thing, the same process as the first brow look and second brow look just with a different brow pencil. I think it depends on which day it is, like what you're wearing or what type of event that you're about to go to because this is slang, but this is like an everyday look. So <laughs> I'm kind of indecisive, but I do like this one for what I'm doing today for the rest of the day. So I think I'm gonna go with this look. Share, like, 
comment on the video show me some love and also if you do see someone if you know someone that can use this tutorial share it without being me okay Thank you.